As Wi-Fi Tribe, we chose the Canaries. Um, first of all, one of the obvious choices was the weather. At this time of the year, there's no other place in Europe where you can go where you can get this kind of weather. At my core, I'm a sun chaser. <laughs> I love the sun. Um, so I always pick locations to go to where it's got nice weather, the beach is great. I picked this place, it would seem like the warmest place to be at this moment. I always love to travel and um, I now have a, a remote job for a year and a couple of months. So it was kind of the perfect moment to combine those two things in one chapter here in Gran Canaria. We have got two properties here um, in Gran Canaria. We've got the roof, which is all around us. It's one floor and there are 12 people living together here. And then we've also got the mansion, which is a whole house across three stories. There's 21 of us all together. The main reason I chose uh, the Canary Islands for this one was the weather, the sunshine, a lot warmer and drier than Manchester right now. And I'd heard that it was a really good place for digital nomads to, to base themselves from. I chose Canary Islands as my destination. One thing is because of the weather, it's beautiful. Also because it reminds me a lot of Latin America. Yeah, I've always wanted to come to Europe and this is actually one of the first places I've been. I wanted to come to Gran Canaria because I wanted to practice my Spanish and because I've heard a lot about the food, the culture. It's very outdoorsy, there's a lot of stuff you can go and see here. So it kind of had everything. I've done two chapters with the Wi-Fi tribe before and then I saw this was being advertised and I've always had an interest to come to the Canary Islands and it just seemed like it was perfect for the timing and the weather, I have to say, made a big impact on me coming. I got involved with the tribe because, I, I mean, I like traveling, but sometimes it's hard to connect with people, especially when you're moving around fairly often, visiting different places. And with the tribe, you arrive somewhere and it's almost instantaneous. You have people who have the same values as you, who you can connect with, who you can do stuff with. So it's more of a community than when you're just traveling on your own. If you ask most digital nomads, one of the things is like loneliness. If you can travel all over the world, but you're not often with a group. So what you have to do is really put yourself out there to meet people, which is great. You meet all sorts of people and I definitely make that effort. The benefit of this is you have an instant community from day one. You don't really have to do that work. You have a community right away, which is great. And they're like-minded individuals. They're working on their own businesses, which has always interested me. I share my business best practices and so do they. It's a really cool synergy and a really cool community. Yeah, the location here has been great for Wi-Fi. Uh, it seems to be really quick. In the Canary Islands, I found it's accessible everywhere. You always seem to have pretty good internet. I work for a fintech company in London, so they can kind of do most things online. I have quite a few meetings during the day, but the Wi-Fi here is so good that you can have video calls all day and you're going to be fine. I can do all my calls. I have enough space that if I need to go and sit and actually look at some code and concentrate, I can go and do that and not get distracted by everyone else. And I have a very understanding manager who's totally fine with me being here, which is lovely. In terms of work-life balance, we choose destinations, obviously not just based on how nicely you can work from there, because frankly, we could be in many cities around the world where you can just, just work from, right? But it's about, okay, can you work comfortably? But then what else can you do? What else can you experience and explore while you're there, right? So obviously the Canary Islands are fantastic for that. It's not just the lifestyle that you get on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, these outdoor restaurants, especially now during COVID, that's really a great opportunity to have. Just being so close to the beach, you know, if you want to play volleyball in the afternoons or just, just suntan for a while, that kind of like instant lifestyle, like lifestyle improvement, I guess, access to that kind of lifestyle is, is fantastic. It's been absolutely wonderful. It was been greater than what we had actually originally imagined. In the few weeks that we have been here, we've made this place our home, which is a big thing <laughs> if you're a digital nomad. So finding a place where you're completely comfortable, where you have amazing weather, we've had a chance to visit everything from the sand dunes in Mas Palomas to the beaches in Puerto de Mogán, to the absolutely fantastic mountains in Tejeda and Araucas, to coffee tasting in La Laja. I mean, there's a little bit of everything for everyone, and I think that makes this place very unique. The way that we kind of do things is we hold each other accountable to have a little bit of work-life balance. All of us work very hard, doing various different things, and so when it is time to relax or do something fun, we plan it all together. So, you know, our weekends are gold to us. I found it 
very uh, easy to work with the tribe uh, because everyone here is someone who does work. You don't have people who are just partying the entire time. So it's a good group of people who sort of motivate you to continue working. This for specific experience, if you're an extrovert uh, or if you're a little bit of an introvert wanting to, to move more down the line of an extrovert, for sure. I mean, you can have your alone time anytime you want, so there's a good balance there, but it is a lot of voluntary group activity. The group decides, hey, you guys want to do this, and sometimes we'll split up, sometimes we'll do something with the entire group. So I would recommend this for people who, you know, like people, get energy from people, or who want to kind of move that direction. I think I would recommend it to anybody who wants to travel and work, for sure. If you haven't traveled before, you also have those people there with you who will help you. You always have someone who will give you a hug, someone who will talk with you. And if you want to get work done, it actually is very productive because you always have good internet and you always have people who are working as well. So it kind of motivates you more to be working. I think if you're open-minded and you like experiencing new things, but you kind of also like to have a bit of a routine, that's probably the best. So you kind of 50-50 on adventure and then routine and work life. So like equal balance. Because for me, I didn't want to just go and travel because I thought I would just get bored of running around enjoying myself. That sounds really weird, but enjoying myself all the time. I think I need the, like, the work bit to appreciate it a bit more. I would definitely recommend Las Palmas, uh, Gran Canaria, especially at this time of year. The weather's amazing. The beaches are wonderful, really, really good place for digital nomads to, to live and work. I'd, I'd definitely come back.